Hey, physics students. Uh, the video that follows is me uh, swinging a pendulum of varying lengths and recording the period. And I want you to gather the data. You can stop the video if you need time to write things down, but I think it probably moves slow enough that you can just watch the video straight through. And if you're paying attention, get all the length and period data. In this video, I'm controlling for the mass of the pendulum by not changing that mass. And I'm also controlling for pullback as best I can by always going back to approximately the same angle every time. So your job is to gather data, and then after the video, I'll give you some more direction about what to do with it. On the sign here, I have the length written. It's 84 centimeters. And you can see that my laptop screen is showing the period. Now, the period is always going to be wrong at first, and then it'll settle into a more reasonable value. You'll be able to tell. So that was 84 centimeters, and it looked like about 1.84 seconds was the period. So now I'm going to move up my photo gate, which will allow me to shorten the pendulum. shortening the pendulum so that it goes through the through the light beam in the photo gate. And now I'm going to measure to find out what my new length of pendulum is. So I've got my new length measured and now I'm going to write it down on the board. Now for the rest of this video, I'm probably going to just speed up the measuring and changing process because that's not really important to data collection. So now 79 centimeters and let's find out what the period is. Again, the period isn't going to be right at first. It's going to be too big and then it'll settle into like this value 1.78 seconds. So watch for that. Okay, I'm changing. And now I have 74 centimeters. Check out the period. And it settles in at 1.73 seconds, it looks like. Okay, so this pattern will just continue until we have lots of data points. Just gather all the data as we go. You may be starting to see a pattern here. It looks like we're changing by five centimeters every time because these holes are on even increments, so that makes sense.
And this is the last one. Uh, can't make it any shorter than this. Okay, now that you've gathered all that information, uh, make a scatter plot. Use Desmos or graphical analysis, your graphing calculator, whatever is your favorite tool for doing uh, regression. Make length the independent variable because that's the thing that I varied on purpose and period the dependent variable because that's what we were watching. If you miss some data points, just go back in the video and find them. Come to a determination if a line is a good fit or not by doing linear regression analysis. Just have that done by Monday and then we'll talk about what to do if it's not.